So far, though, the summit hasn't gone entirely according to plan. Last night during the gala dinner, a Hawaiian guitarist used the spotlight to draw attention, well, to a different agenda. The guitarist Makana opened his suit jacket to reveal a t-shirt that reads Occupy with Aloha, an apparent show of support for the Occupy movements unfolding across the U.S. and other parts of the world. He also sang a protest ballad instead of just strumming his guitar for background music. Well, as was expected, Makana comes to us now live from Honolulu. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, you're wearing the t-shirt, you've got the guitar. But tell me, first of all, what were you thinking? I mean, why did you do it? Um, I think the real question is, why wouldn't I have done it? It felt like the right song to sing. I wrote it with the intention of people in power hearing it. Fair enough. Can we, can we hear it? So you've got the guitar. Can you, can you give us a few bars of the chorus? Yeah, I'll give you a verse and a chorus. From underneath the vestiture of law the lobbyists at Washington do not. At liberty, the bureaucrats guffaw. And until they are purged, we won't withdraw. We'll occupy the streets. We'll occupy the courts. We'll occupy the offices of you. Till you do. Of the many, not the few. <laughs> it's, it's a catchy tune. I'm going to interrupt it, though, to ask you. So you're playing this song, what, once, twice? Did anyone notice? Or are the most powerful people in the world just sitting around working on their entrees? Oh, you know, it's, the irony is definitely apparent. Uh, I started out very cautiously because uh, my intention wasn't to disrupt their dinner. My intention was to subliminally convey a message that I felt was paramount to the negotiations. And uh, I decided to go into it. And when I felt pressure, there was Secret Service there, there were uh, staffers there, there were a lot of eyes all around in the shadows and in the trees and shrubs. <laughs> and uh, I just would back off a little and smile and go back to playing. And then when I felt like it was safe, I'd start again. And eventually I got enough courage to go into it for an extended period of time, and I ended my show with the line, the bidding of the many, not the few. I sang it about 50 times in different ways for them to hear. <laughs> uh, you're with us today. Are you in any kind of trouble at all? I hope not. Why? I was just singing. If, if I'm in trouble for singing, we have major problems. Fair enough. Makana, live from Honolulu. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, quite a performance.